Okay. Good morning. In my another video, you have seen our intrinsically safe light. I was talking about the intrinsically safe circuit. So, all intrinsically safe circuits have the genial barrier. This is look like this. This is the genial barrier, and you can see it's a genial barrier. Can you see this? Yes. This is a genial barrier, and this is fitted in the circuit. So all circuits, all intrinsically safe circuit on deck outside in the danger area, are connected with the intrinsically safe circuit. This diagram I will show you again. Now you can see that there are the fuses and general barriers. I think it must be clear. The general barriers and the fuses. Okay. So all all circuits have this. So what we do? You have a connection like one, two, one, two, three, four, like this. Okay, and then they are connected, and each circuit have the one. So this is like cassette type. In case of some short circuit happens and high voltage produces, then this will safeguard your circuit, and it will not allow to have a big fire on board. so it will break your circuit and your power will be cut off to the system one thing we have to keep in mind whenever there is a short circuit this fuse the fuse shown here will blow off so when it is blowing off then you are not supposed to replace it you are supposed to replace the complete assembly because this is for one circuit so there are the general barriers resistors and your fuses so fuses will blow off okay so you can have this is the safe area and for the equipment safe area and the equipment i think you you will be able to read it so by using this you are using all intrinsically safe circuits fitted on deck so in no case you can have a problem or your heavy spark on deck this is the one fitted you can fit in the rack so like this many each circuit have one one general barrier okay so everyone is fitted like this and connected and that's all your circuit is passed through this general barrier okay thank you